Hi hotties, welcome to another episode of my moving diaries. I've already decluttered my room and also cleaned out my entire closet with y'all. And now it's finally time to do the damn thing and move out and also subsequently move in to the new place with new furniture and just trying to make this new space a home. It's a very exciting time, but we still had a few final touches to do to the last unit, including repainting some parts of the walls because I did put some holes in there. To get a perfect color match, you can get a little patch from a non-discreet area and then just take your little butt to Lowe's or Home Depot or something like that and then they could easily do a little, a little pint of the perfect paint color. I used to love Home Depot as a child so much. Do you guys remember the like kids activities that they would have? Then you would get your own apron with like, your name on it. <laughs> I remember I treasured that apron. Bird houses and just like random shit and I remember I wanted to go all the time. I used to be like, Mom, will you take me to Home Depot? But then after like two or three times, she would not take me because she said it was too expensive. So, I miss that though. there wasn't much to do for the kitchen i just needed to separate my bowls and plates etc from my roommates and then i just cleaned the place up a little bit we are ordering some things from Target and Walmart for like kind of the essentials for the apartment that we can pick up tomorrow. So it's kind of what it looks like right here. I'm excited, but I'm so stressed right now. Um, a lot of things are happening and I'm just like, I don't know. I just want everything to go smoothly tomorrow and I know it's not going to. Um, so I'm just kind of stressed about that, but it's like, oh, I have to be zen. The last dinner on the floor. I'm feeling like sad this has been such a routine and it's just kind of i don't know like now it's gonna be over but i guess i am very excited to have a dining table <laughs> hopefully soon but the end of an era we probably will still have to eat on the floor for a while till we get a table just not on carpet <laughs> just not on carpet so our asses will hurt the end of an era a little bit emotional last night and this morning i said goodbye to my roommate i mean it's not like a real goodbye because of course we're gonna hang out um i'm not moving too far and also i'm gonna be visiting san diego a lot don't worry but um i guess it's just the goodbye of like living together and i don't know it's just like the whole part of growing up like you're just going to have to say goodbye to your childhood i guess but yeah 
I'm really excited, but also, you know, like I'm just feeling a lot of things. We got a lot of stuff done yesterday, but I woke up a bit early today to get ready and also just have the final touches for when the movers and the packers come. Their job is probably already so stressful, so I just want to help in any way that I can. I just need to focus on like the positives of me moving. Like I'm going to be having an office, which is... Oh, I don't even know how to feel about that either because I feel like such big imposter syndrome and like do I even deserve a space like that or you know whatever comes along with it like a nice computer all of that I don't know I just feel like I just don't deserve it I'm really excited to be closer to my family Hello, it's been a few hours. I think we're basically all ready for the Packers and Movers to come. Um, I'm actually tracking them right now on my phone. Obviously, packing and moving just in general is so stressful. So I'm so grateful that Clutter offered to help me out with all of this. So thank you so much, Clutter, for just being the, a real one and just helping me ease the stress just a little bit more. So excited. So never miss a lyric, speak the truth is all I'm on. Here I'm rapping on my business in the end, I'll come out strong. I'm in the driver's seat today. Let's do this. Let's go to the new place. I'm so excited. I love it so much. I just need to connect my phone. Hello? Please? We're here! I made it guys! Are you proud of me? <laughs> Two hours later, there was so much traffic and I was- Oh, it was a fallen soldier. We're all moved in! So exciting, right? It's um 4.30 now. Martin's actually at a job interview, so it's just me and Suki right now, but there's so many boxes. I'm just so excited to make this new place home. <laughs> the litter robot. <laughs> I had to explain to them what it was and they called it a space pod. So that's a new name, guys. There's some more stuff in here, but that's basically it. Not too much. I mean, kind of a lot, but they said they've done a lot worse. So <laughs> the moving day has been so stressful, even though I really didn't do shit. Clutter did everything. Thing, and I'm so grateful for that. But I just think moving in general could just be like mentally exhausting. So I don't know, maybe I'm just being a little bitch. But nothing else is planned for the day. I kind of want to get pizza. It's just the law when you move in to a new apartment to have pizza on the floor. Yep, the apartment looks like an absolute hot mess at this point. Of course, we just moved in, so we're just trying to settle in, trying to find our stuff. It's been really exciting, honestly, that now that we're living together, we each have our own spaces in our little like drawers and stuff. Because before, you know, like we would go into each other's rooms and yeah, it's just like this whole thing, like this is our space. It's crazy. <laughs> honestly, can't wait till everything's done and then I could just look back on this video diary and see where we started. It's just a very beautiful thing. Thing. I love doing YouTube and just documenting my life. One of the first things I did actually was unpack my closet because I'm a fashion girly. Y'all know that. I gotta have access to my goods. Please disregard the vertical orientation of these videos. I was kind of planning on making TikToks about this, but I'm a YouTube girl, you know, I, I just gotta use this content for this video. So yeah. <laughs>
currently healing my inner child by playing house and Ikea. It is so fun, okay? It's just fun. We were just there to vibe, see what's around, get some inspo, maybe buy some things. I for sure wanted a desk for the office area, so here I am trying to test one out. I was torn between two, but the ladder was way longer, and I just didn't know if I needed that much space, but I ended up going for option one. We just had a lot of fun in Ikea. And for the first time, I had the famous IKEA Swedish meatballs. I understand the hype now. They're pretty tasty. It's the perfect little treat after spending hundreds of dollars in this maze of a store. What can I say? <laughs> We thrifted our first piece of furniture today. We scored this baby. It's a coffee table. Oh. We actually went to five different thrift stores to find the perfect coffee table. Honestly, today we were kind of looking for like a dining table with chairs, but I think when you're thrifting, you kind of just have an open mind to see what you find. We had one other contender, but we thought this one would just be the most versatile. So we went with this. And now that it's in the space, I think it looks gorgeous. We didn't necessarily know that we wanted like a glass table, but then I was looking at the Pinterest board, like all like the pins that I put, and basically all of them have glass coffee tables. And I was like, mm -hmm. okay, maybe this is just the vibe. I don't know. I think Suki really likes this. <laughs> wow. So long, Bebe. Our couch came in today. We've been sitting on the floor and we figured we probably shouldn't do that anymore. So this came in. Uh, Jasmine's not home right now, but I'm gonna try to build this on my own. Hopefully it comes out as a couch or at least something we could sit on. Gonna help me out? I mean, if you say so. Okay, so now it's time to have our lovely, sexy mattress. I'm so excited. Oh my God, but the box is gnarly. Huge. How the fuck am I gonna get this out? So good at walking, good job. off by showing you guys my Pinterest board. I love Pinterest and I just wanted to show you just our kind of vision for this space. Also, you can see Suki over there. Hi, Suki. I pour my blood, sweat, and tears building this cat tree and I'm so happy that she likes it. <laughs> also, on the sexy new couch, ooh, 
love it love it i'm gonna link this board down below so you guys can use this as well i think overall we're trying to go for a colorful yet still mature take on this i do love me a funky piece though and this one well i guess when i saw i thought it was so cool and even these because martin skateboards and he has a lot of old decks so we could probably even make something like this as well this person's place right here oh absolutely gorgeous like this is exactly like if if i could copy and paste this then i would just be extremely happy i love this bedding we really wanted to get it but it's a little bit out of our price range for now we wanted the black one with black suki's hair could kind of get everywhere but maybe i'll just be one of those girlies that vacuums her bed every day i don't know but i literally dream about this bedding it's so it's so gorgeous there's lots of plants in these photos and i want to get a lot more plants but suki does have a habit of biting leaves and a lot of plants are toxic to cats so i just don't want to really take the risk with that i'll do some more research but also i'm very okay with having fake plants because i'm also a horrible plant mom <laughs> at first the idea of an open tv console right there intrigued us but then we thought about it and we're like wait we're not very organized so it would be cool just to have it enclosed we don't have to be super organized all the time because we have a lot of electronics the checkerboard kitchen literally makes me oh I just i want it i want it so bad i have some inspo right here for like the desk setup and my office there's a lot of white couches in the board but when we were thinking about it a little bit more i don't know if we could just handle with the upkeep of it all i feel like we would just be nervous to be like leisurely on a couch like eat snacks or something like that and i feel like that's just kind of like the whole point of a couch for us so that's why we opted for this kind of darker color but i still think it looks really nice okay here it is here's the black roof bedding that i was talking about before oh one day one day this is the photo that actually inspired us to get the rug that we have we're just waiting on a ton of wall art to come in and i think that's what will really make this space kind of reflect on what we have been planning out on the pinterest board i'm not particularly well versed in interior design like i don't think i have a very natural eye for it it's really helpful to see everything on pinterest and just kind of pick and choose and just get inspiration and everything like that what would you call the kind of aesthetic that we're trying to go for i would love to have a name for it i just want to say thank you so much for watching i love you and appreciate you so much i can't wait to show you how this place kind of comes into fruition and yeah i love you so much i'll see you next time bye Cherchant l'impossible, elle trouva que c'était une bonne idée.